Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to add and edit text in this Photoshop Elements for Beginners project. The first thing we'll do is to start off with a brand new file. Let me just close this down. I won't bother saving that. And open up a file. Go up here to File and click on Open, and then navigate for the file that you want to work with. Now, I already have my file right here on my recently edited file list, and it's right there. I'll just go ahead and open that up. There we go. Now, mine comes in as a floating window, as you can see right here. That's a specific setup over here under Edit. Come down to Preferences and General. And right here, that's that checkbox right there, Allow Floating Documents in Expert Mode. That can occasionally be very useful. It's not needed in this particular project. So I'm just going to dock that right there. Okay. Now, there are two ways of putting text or adding text into a picture inside of Photoshop Elements. I'm first going to set my foreground background colors back to their defaults right here. And then I'll use this button right there, the little double arrow thing to reverse those so that white is my foreground color. Let's now go over here to the text tool. That's a horizontal type tool right there. And you see down at the bottom, we have our options for this tool. Here is the typeface. There are lots of typefaces in here to choose from. I have a lot that I've added in here over the years, of course, but I'll be using this one here. It's just kind of a fun typeface, Forte regular, but choose the typeface that you like. Now, one trick on this, notice that these are pretty easy to see what the typeface looks like on the right-hand side. To get that, go back up here to edit, Come back down to Preferences, and then come down here where it says Type. And right here, Font Preview Size, set that to Huge, all the way up. That gives you the largest preview size, and it's the easiest way to see what the typeface actually looks like. Okay, let's just go back here to that Forte. Now, when you're working with type, there are two ways of putting type in. One way is a single line of type. Some programs will call this display text. Some programs call it artistic text, but it's a single line text. The other way is to put a paragraph box and put your text inside of that paragraph box. We'll be using both techniques here in this project. Now for our first one, I want the color at white. And that's right there. I want to have the alignment here set at left align. And the size, you can choose that right here. Either choose from the list, or you can type in your own size if you want to. Let's say I wanted to have this at 16. I'm just going to type in 16, click outside, and it, it puts in that point for you automatically right there. Letting all have this set at auto, that's fine. Tracking at zero, that's also fine. Okay, now coming over here where you think that the line of text should start, click in there and get an insertion point right like that. Now just go ahead and type. Do O, oh, happy, happy day, and exclamation point. And there we go. Now once you have your text in here, click on that little green check mark, it's now set into place. You can then move this around Place it anywhere you want to. Now you can change the way the text looks by grabbing these control handles in here. You can actually stretch your text out that way. Let's just click on the red right there to undo that last step. You can also stretch your text to the right. Notice how it actually makes the text wider. The actual letters are wider in here. Or you can change the type size. Just triple click. It should automatically reselect like that. Or if you grab the type tool down here, you can click with that same thing. Let's come down here, we'll change our type size. I'm going to change the size now to a 30 point. There we go. Notice how it previews that size right there. If I bring up my little drop down, I can click on different type sizes just by choosing them from this drop down list. There's that 30 point again. To set that in place, hit that green check mark. Now, one thing about that, if you're on the type, there's kind of a little quirk here in Photoshop Elements. If your type is selected, you're using the type tool, a lot of other things will not be available. And thus, everything in here is pretty much grayed out. Over here, a lot of stuff is grayed out. In file, a lot of things are grayed out. So if you're trying to do something and everything seems to be grayed and everything seems to be available, just take a look at your text, uncheck that, make sure that you don't have text selected, and then you'll have all those other options available again. So it's a lot of things are blocked out if you have text selected. Just keep that in mind. We're now going to put in some more text. This time we'll be putting it in as a paragraph text, a block area of text. But before we do that, I want to make sure that we're not accidentally changing this text up here. This will sometimes happen, even if you are putting a text someplace else, it may still be reacting with this layer up here. So the way to fix that is just to make a new layer above your type layer and then go to your text tool. This will then separate this layer from this layer and you won't have any interaction between those two. Okay, let's go back here to our type tool right there. Let's come down here, change the color. Click on the little color box here. Let's change this to black. There we go. Let's change the size in here down to 16. There we are, everything else looks good. 
Leave that at left justified, that's fine. Now with this tool, I can click and drag like this and create a boxed area, let go, and then my text will go inside of this boxed area. This is really useful if you want to paste in some text. You wanna make sure it stays within a certain confined space in your layout. Let me bring up some text so we can then paste in here. A little quote here from Shakespeare kind of works. I'll just select all of that, right click copy, get that out of the way, and we're still in our text box. Right click and paste. There's the text. As you can see, it comes in and it fits into that box area. We can edit the text inside of this box separately from other text in the same box. For instance, I can select William Shakespeare right here. We can change the type size for this one down to a 10 point. I can click in front and hit the enter key, give me a space right here. I can also select this and set this text at right justified. So even though it's in the same box, I can manipulate that text, edit that text separately from the other text. Hit that green check mark. There we go. Now things about this text, if I bring this box down, notice the box is a floating window. I can place it anywhere I want to. Same thing if I go over here and I grab these control handles, I can adjust the text like that. Just undo that one. There we go. The top, same thing. I can stretch or compress the text this way. There we are. Now let's say I wanted to have a nice white box that this will be sitting onto. The best way to do that is to create a shape and put that shape in behind your text as its own layer. It gives you more control, more flexibility that way. So let's go back here to our default colors. That's that little bottom color box right here. Hit that arrow so that white is in the front. Let's go up here to our shape tool and I have the rounded rectangle tool selected. That's right here. I have the radius set at 50 pixels. The radius size and also your type sizes will depend upon the size of your picture. A bigger picture will need larger numbers for your text size and for your size down here, things like that. The smaller the picture, the smaller those numbers will be as well. This is at unconstrained, that's just fine. Then I'll come right over here just outside and I'll pull a box like this, just kind of around that text. You can see that border in there. Let go. Now this comes in as a new layer above your text layer. So just take that shape layer, drag it down. So it's underneath your text and there we go. There's our text sitting on a white layer. Now the nice thing about this is I can move the shape layer around or I can move the text layer around. Just choose layer you want to adjust, move that around. So it gives me flexibility on where these things are actually sitting in here. Now say I wanted to have this a little bit see-through. Let's go back to that shape layer right here. Simply go up to opacity and bring the opacity down. As you bring that down, you begin to see through that layer more and see more of the background. I'll put this at 55%. You can actually just type that in if you want to. And there we go. We have a nice kind of a see-through light area. If you want to make sure that these things stay together, so if you move one, they both move together, all you have to do is hold the control key down, click on both layers, click on this little icon right here. That's a link icon. These are now linked together. If I grab one of those layers, they will both move at the same time, allowing me just to kind of reposition and fine tune exactly where I want to have that sitting. You also sometimes see these little control handles and stuff in here, just interrupting your view a little bit. Just go back, click on your background layer, and those are then hidden. So there we go. Those are the two main ways of putting text onto a page, onto a picture here inside of Photoshop Elements. A couple of other tricks tossed in as well. And if you really understand these two different methods of adding text, it gives you complete control over placing text on your pictures in Photoshop Elements. Okay, and I'll see you next time.